me showing you guys how I made $1,354 from $4.40. Um, here's a free Discord you guys can join to get help on e-commerce or whatever you need. It's just a group chat. Install the app. You're going to be using my referral code right here for three free $3. So you can use that just to get so many sales with the free $3. Um, if it's not installing, do it on your phone, verify your phone number through the app so you can, well, through the Shopify app and then go onto it because sometimes it doesn't work and you're going to need a new account every time. Unless there's a solution, put that in the comment section. In the next step, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the automation. All right, here's some proof on my store right here. So I spent uh, just 20 clicks right here, which is probably going to be a, about a dollar fifty, and I made back 1600 revenue just off the five minute one. So let's get right into how to set this up. All right, so this is going to be the automation one, and you guys can look right here. I got the three dollars balance from adding it onto my store. So let's click on the edit button. We're going to just name this one to abandon cart after five minutes. That one, and then it's going to be a delay. Actually, yeah, it's going to be enabled, and it's going to be five minutes. We're going to copy and paste this. This is going to be in the description. You're going to have to join the Discord to get it, and then it'll be on the channel, so you can just copy and paste it, put it right here. Let's remove this line of code and put add stop. And then so they can not receive any text anymore. And you're going to have to set up the terms and services. Um, yeah, just click good, make the change. You're going to have to set up the... I forget what it's called, but it's something you have to do. It's like policies and shit. Yeah, it's going to be somewhere on there. They'll tell you. Let me just go back to the apps again because I clicked the back button. So that's marketing. Is load. Go back to my automations. Then we're going to enable this one active. Now it's active and then we're going to go with the let's go to the automation number two. So you're going to make sure you want to apply your discount codes in your Shopify discount section. We're going to just copy and paste this one. This is going to be after an hour. So say after one hour, take that out, enable delay one hour, copy and paste that, remove this one, stop, save, good, make the change. And we have that one. We're going to enable it now. All right, that's active. Now we're gonna go to the next one. It's gonna be automation three after one day. Oh, this is, I actually have to make my own. Forgot about this one. Cause they don't, you have to click create new automation. It's gonna load SMS automation name. We're just gonna say one day AC abandoned cart customer delay enabled. Go with the one day right here. Of this you can add a gif if you want but i never do that and we're just going to copy and paste this make sure you put the discount code on your shopify I said earlier but just you have to make sure her it's going to be a waste of money click save good make the change wait for this one to load that's active all right we're going to go into settings now let's make sure everything's like this all right we're going to disable our quiet hours because we just don't need to do those right now. Well, we don't want them. And everything's set like that. And you should be good to go whenever someone leaves an abandoned checkout. Actually, actually what I'll do is go into my preferences, I think. And we're going to have this load up. No, it's not pre preferences. It's going to be somewhere in the checkout. Yeah, it's the checkout. We're going to make sure it is... Shipping is required. Shipping address phone number is required. So in case that they abandon checkout, you can grab that. And I usually like to make the email automatically check tech, um, tick to one hour right here. Pre-select, boom. Then set up that terms and services. They'll be talking about on SMS bump and you guys got yourself like $40,000 ROI right there. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.